So our key innovation in this uh, project is a neuromorphic system that combines a sight and touch uh, in order to help robots understand their world better. So neuromorphic systems are designed to uh, be similar to biological systems. So biological systems like human brains uh, process information in the form of discrete events uh, called spikes. Now this is very different from standard computers which keep running, they keep processing data or information even though there is sometimes nothing to process. Uh, biological systems only respond when something changes in the environment. By, by emulating biological systems, our perception system is able to respond more quickly as well as consume much less power than your typical computer. So in this project, we work closely with engineering colleagues to prototype a new tactile sensor. The new touch is an uh, event-based tactile sensor. In simple words, it's like a human finger. It also operates like a biological system. The data is transmitted only when there is a touch. If new touch is a, like a human finger, VTSNN is like our brain. It gets data from both vision and touch and fuses them to learn and to perceive the environment. In our project, we have demonstrated the ability of new touch with VTSNN in different robotic tasks such as object classification and sleep detection. Uh, so I'm interested in building robots that we can trust to work in real-world environments. So not a lab, but an office, a hospital, or even your home. In these environments, uh, these robots need to be able to respond quickly and robustly to unexpected events. So for example, a self-driving car uh, may need to avoid someone who just dashes across the road or maybe even catch a falling object or even a person uh, in, a, in a home or hospital. Now, neuromorphic systems are a nice fit to these types of scenarios because they respond rapidly to changes in the environment. As an added benefit, they are also very power efficient. So the robots don't need to be hooked up to a wall outlet or carry very large batteries. The most difficult thing in our project was to integrate different sensors so that we can perform our robotic tasks. We are forced to uh, look at how data is produced, all the way starting from hardware, all the way to sensor output to our computers. On a personal level, there's definitely a greater appreciation for how sensors work. So first off, our work is a first step uh, in, a, in a long road <laughs> ahead. So this work is still is in infancy. Uh, there's a lot more that needs to be done. But in the future, we may expect that many types of robots uh, could use this style of event-based processing. In essence, uh, we would like robots that we could trust to operate safely in open environments. 